bench press. Your body position will be eyes in front of the bar, feet flat on the floor, both hands clasp the bar with a full thumb wrap. A three inch high sponge is secured to the bar and must make contact with the chest when the weight is lowered. Hips and back must remain in contact with the bench during the entire lift. Feet must remain flat on the floor during the entire lift. An administrator positioned on either side of the bar will assist to unrack and re-rack the bar during all lifts. One warm-up lift is required prior to attempting a lift for points. The weight of this warm-up lift must be lower than the weight required to obtain a nine-point value. Lower the bar until contact is made with a three-inch sponge. From the down position, the bar is raised towards the ceiling until a full yet soft extension of the elbows is obtained. The test is over when there have been two failed lifts or the 11-point threshold is met. Setups. There is a one-minute time limit. Feet flat on the floor, no wider than hips width apart, and secured by an administrator. Knees are bent at a 90-degree or tighter angle, buttocks closer to the feet. Hands are overlapped and placed behind the head. Fingers may not be interlocked. Start in the down position. Elbows must cross the vertical plane of the kneecaps to complete the up position. Shoulder blades must contact the floor to complete the down position. Resting in the down position is not allowed and will result in immediate failure. Resting within the one minute time limit is allowed in the up position only. Sit-ups are performed until the 11 point threshold is met or until the one minute time limit is reached. 300 meter run. Line up at the start line. Run 300 meters on the administrator's command to begin. Entire body must cross the finish line. Running outside the designated lanes or boundaries or shortening the curves will result in an automatic failure on the test event. Push-ups. There's a two minute time limit. Shirts and other loose clothing are tucked in. Start in the up position. Hands placed approximately beneath the shoulders. In the down position, the thumbs should be within the radius of the shoulder joint. Body position should form a straight line through the head, shoulders, hips, and feet, and should remain as such throughout the entire motion. Feet together are no wider than hips width apart. The outside of the feet may not exceed the width of the hips. A three inch high sponge is placed and secured on the ground by an administrator at chest level. Body is lowered until the chest contacts the sponge. Contact must be felt and heard by the administrator. The lower part of the body, knees, hips, etc., may not make contact with the floor at any time. Body is raised until a full but soft extension of the elbows is reached. Locking out of the elbows is not advised. Resting is allowed in the up position only. During a rest, a pike position is allowed, but hands and feet must remain in contact with the floor at all times. Push-ups are performed until the 11-point threshold is met or until the two-minute time limit is reached. The mile and a half run. Line up at the start line. On the administrator's command to begin, a 1.5 mile distance is covered. Walking, jogging, running, or any combination thereof may be used through the duration of the test so long as the appropriate distance is covered. Entire body must cross the finish line. Running outside the designated lanes and boundaries or shortening of the curves will result in an automatic failure on the test event.